If your PC build looks something like, like this, it's obviously in need of a cleaning, and if I'm being frank, more like a deep cleaning. But if you aren't sure where to start, maybe consider the case. PC cases can be large and may seem daunting on the surface to disinfect and scrub, but it'll probably motivate you to clean the remainder of your system when the chassis is spotless. And in this video, I'll show you just how to do that. How to deep clean your PC case. Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying activation watermark, hop on over to VIP SCD key and purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for fractions of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, receive your key in seconds and activate your OS here. Bye bye watermark. And be sure to use our new offer code SKGS for a sweet discount. Computer cases can be tricky to disinfect, but you'll want to completely disassemble them down to bare frame if possible. Start with rear PCI slot covers. You'll want to remove all of those along with the screws and I'm assuming obviously that you've already removed all of your vital hardware. So the platform, the graphics card, the power supply, etc. all this very dirty stuff. With the slot covers removed, we can move on to other modular pieces. Starting first with the front panel, assuming it is removable. If you have any modular fan trays, maybe a removable hard drive brackets or SSD brackets, you wanna remove all of those. We'll clean these manually after the fact. Removing all of this also ensures that dust doesn't get trapped in between or underneath. Focus behind the motherboard tray as well. Uh, so if you have maybe routing channels for cables, chances are they're probably removable with a few screws. Uh, same goes for, again, like I said, SSD trays, hard drive trays are gonna be back here as well. Uh, take as much out as you can, as long as it is not riveted, you don't wanna drill through your cases. You're gonna have to put all that back together somehow. Uh, if it is held in by just it, its own kind of retention clips or maybe Phillips screws, yeah, remove all that. And beware, some cases use dozens of screws to hold modular components together. Uh, the recent Fantex case that I took apart, wow. Tons of screws there. Last in the prep phase, you'll want to remove any and all cables. Now, to be honest, you could probably keep some of these on, uh, but they'll, they'll probably get wet, you know, and, and you need to thoroughly clean them and dry them immediately after. Uh, I just remove them whenever possible to keep the cleaning simple. Uh, some cases will have front IO all bunched up onto one board, which is nice uh, because it's gonna be fairly easy to remove. Some cases actually have this front IO panel attached to the front panel itself. Uh, so if you remove the front panel, you may have already removed removed all of those necessary wires. Basically anything held down that's not gonna compromise plastic that's removed, yeah, go ahead and remove it. And if things are held down by glue, you can always scrape it off and apply more later. This, this applies especially to older cases. So when we've stripped our case down, about as far as it will go, barring the use of a drill or a saw, we'll wanna bring it outside, set it down near a water hose and give it a good rinse. Water tends to make folks a bit nervous around PC components, but your case is likely made of thin coated steel and a bit of water won't hurt anything so long as it's dried immediately after. Now, if your case is made of cardboard, yeah, maybe uh, maybe use a bit of common sense there. And if your case is maybe just old or made of plastic or paint that you're not sure is gonna hold up long-term, maybe just use a soapy sponge and water. You can even do that here with these larger cases, uh, but I found that the pressure from a standard nozzle is usually sufficient for removing caked up grime and dust in most of these builds. And we're trying to be as efficient as possible with our time here and get the best results possible as well. Be sure to emphasize the grills, especially these can trap and hide dust, uh, as well as the crevices in and around the left and right panel openings. All these have lips and a lot of dust gets stuck under there. Spray around the back of the motherboard tray as well, uh, underneath, up top, you know, up front to the full treatment, leaving no area untouched by the spray from the nozzle. And then we move to the front panel. If you were able to remove it before, uh, you'll want to prop it up against something or, or just hold it out in front of you while spraying. And uh, once it's good and washed, repeat the process for the left and right panels, which I, I hope you deduce that you had to remove both of those as well before washing. And you only want to wash these if they're made again of the same material that the rest of the chassis is. Uh, if you have a glass or like a tempered glass side panel, set that aside, we'll scrub it later. Next, bring all case pieces inside. Thoroughly dry them with a towel or compressed air even. I like to mix up a bit of both. Any remaining droplets will evaporate with time. So set the case aside for now and grab those dirty old PCI slots you just removed. Chances are these are pretty grimy. So blast them with compressed air or manually scrub them with IPA and a shop towel. Heck, you could even blast these with water if you wanted, but they're pretty small, so I tend to be a uh, 
a bit, uh, I don't know, a little more precise here. Repeat this for the storage drive trays, modular plastic bits, and the cables you removed earlier. For hard to reach places, switch to Q-tips dipped in IPA. Then move on to the case screws. Yes, these things are notorious for collecting dust as well, and they look pretty awful when not clean, and when the rest of the system is clean, and gray dust and stuff stuck in here. And uh, the Q-tips actually work really well at soaking all of this up. Now, for some, you'll still have one piece left to clean, and that's gonna be, again, that left side panel if it is made of tempered glass. Any glass cleaner should do, uh, but if it's made of, say, acrylic, you'll want to be very gentle. You'll also want to use a microfiber cloth, light pressure, and soapy water, okay? Nothing abrasive and nothing filled with harmful chemicals. Even sprays like Windex can actually damage the acrylic, so avoid using them. This is what your acrylic panel could end up looking like if you use the wrong chemical. Dry the soap and water when you're finished cleaning uh, for a spotless finish. By this point, everything comprising the case, essentially, not the actual PC hardware, but the case itself that houses the hardware, should be deep cleaned. Right. After a few hours, your chassis should be fully dry and you can scan it for any remaining dirt stains. Uh, if you have any remaining water droplets, be sure to get those up before you put your precious hardware back inside. Uh, you can tackle any stains with IPA or something, like maybe even a baby wipe. Just make sure again that it's dried after. Uh, be sure to emphasize the grills as well because these will be the most impactful on our hardware in the future should any dust remain. Though if you've again washed it well enough with enough pressure outside, none of it should be sticking around. The final task then is to reassemble and this one's pretty straightforward especially if you pre-labeled case screws and things like that beforehand start with the smaller internal parts like the ssd and hard drive trays maybe some cable channels and the like and work your way toward the outside of the frame and you should be finished in no time then step back and admire your work Regardless of how expensive or cheap your case was to begin with, there's nothing like a night and day transition between what was once extremely dirty and what should now be nearly spotless. Awesome work. But we aren't done just yet. You've still got, um, you've still got the remaining components to clean, and I'll have a few of our tutorials linked down below to get you started, especially with things like the graphics card and the motherboard. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something or maybe just found it entertaining to watch this case being clean, be sure to leave a like and consider clicking that subscribe button. I would appreciate that. Leave an all feedback in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.